Hi, I'm LP Master Six, and welcome to Let's Play You May Code Your Doki Doki Panic, which translates to Dream Factory Heart Pounding Panic. And it was released in 1987 for the Famicom Disk System, so it's Japan only. It was in partnership with Fuji TV for their You May Kojo event. I don't know the whole purpose behind it, but Shigeru Miyamoto produced it. And these are the twins, right? They accidentally tore out the last page of a storybook where the evil monster was defeated where he was trying to eat dreams or something in this land in the storybook and so the monster is freed because they tore out the page and he kidnaps him and so that guy's yelling and then all four of them know exactly what to do they jump in the storybook and we're gonna change to side b side b now let me explain the characters mm. okay this is Imogen, right here, and this is Lena, and this is Mama, and this is Papa. Papa and Mama are the parents of the twins. Originally, these two were thought to be their children also, just the older ones. But, oh, recent, this one YouTube video that was uncovering stuff that I didn't watch all of, but Mario Wiki trusts it as a source, so I'm gonna view this as confirmed knowledge. Imogen here is Papa and Mama's friend, and this is his girlfriend. Lena. They just happened to be over when their children were kidnapped, I guess. And we're gonna get right into it with Imogen because he's at the top. He That means he's the best. And we're falling right into the storybook world. This is a shy guy. Very famous Nintendo character. Koji Kondo also composed this game. So this is basically like Oh, an off-brand Mario, but with the same brand. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? This is a tweeter! And we're gonna get these turnips, and we're gonna beat. We're gonna beat. <laughs> uh, if you've never seen me before, I might have Asperger's. <laughs> um... And we're in subspace right now, because we picked up the lamp. And... In subspace is where you can get extra hearts for extra health, and the power block is straight from Mario Brothers from 1983, and you know what it does. Don't be fooling around. Pink shy guys will not walk off the edge, but red ones will. Just like Mario, because Miyamoto, he wanted to make a vertical scroller like Mario was a side scroller. And everybody was like, ooh, that doesn't work, so he made a halfway one. That was Imogen's head, so it's a one-up. We're gonna, just gonna POW! Ooh! This is a lot better than that last take. I tell you, I was being boring. That's a bomb, and... Uh, see, the Japanese, it's ironic. Well, this is set in Arabia. <laughs> Official name. That's it. And this is a Starman, straight from S Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> And I love the Arabian music. I don't know why these are Arabian characters in an Arabian family. I don't understand. Oh, that was a stopwatch. Uh, it stops time so I could kill that ninja. And look at this graphic. Look at the graphic of this vine. Isn't that amazing? See, that always looks SNES quality to me. Alright, and we're gonna do... Can I no, no, no! Oh, I did it, okay. Ooh, you can't run in this game, and that makes everything a lot harder. And how do we get up here? We can't jump, but we can super jump. If you crouch down until you glow violently, then you can jump higher than ever before. And oh, please, no bomb. Uh, and that's what you do to get to this secret shortcut. Mm. You hear that? That sounds like boss music, huh? Do, 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 do. I can't I can't sink to this and we skipped over the entire level levels are a lot longer than Super Mario Brothers levels because there's only three per world in most cases oh yeah and projectiles that like fall like that they they still hurt you oh oh this is the worst fight with Birdo I've ever had <laughs> ooh now Birdo's really easy uh, Birdo is a man who wants to be a woman according to I, I don't know about Doki Doki Panic but okay it's no secret that this game was later converted into Super Mario Brothers 2 for the West because they didn't want to use this stupid Japanese style game but oh my god 
I died and won one twice. One of them was reasonable. But, oh, I'm too focused on talking. Um, LP Master 6. Okay, what you do is you gotta pick up her eggs in case you haven't noticed and throw them back. Or his eggs. Well, if it is a female, how does, how does he produce eggs? Ooh. Alberto's transgender problems have been a long subject of debate in Nintendo history. But, and I am not going to view this game as the original Super Mario Bros. 2. I'm going to view it as Doki Doki Panic. Because that's what upsets me. That's why I'm doing games in order. People are like, oh, this is just like the game that came after it. I just didn't play it yet. Ooh, we're going to find the biggest example of that in the future. Oh, I'm not going to spoil it about that series, but it's my favorite series. Alright, this is a Pidget, and I love old Pidgets, because you can just... Mm, I'll show you what you can do with them. And also, isn't that gate to the next level terrifying? Ooh, it is terrifying. This is a Bezo or a Buzzo? Or I'm not worried about the official names. We'll get to that when we do my Super Mario Bros. 2 Let's Play. I'm slow on my words, and I'm scared I have Asperger's. <laughs> I was in Pizza Hut, you know, where I work, right? And, oh, emulator skips are not fun. And I heard, as soon as I came out there to change the lights, and now I'm terrified of standing on chairs because I'm scared I'm going to fall. You can go down these vases. This is a Fanto. It's a nice, calm little mask until you take its key, and then it chases you violently. And that's really annoying, right? But if you let go of the key and wait long enough, look, and just do this over and over, just keep throwing it. There you go, it's no problem. And mm, just listen to this nice underground music. I want the Star Man straight from Super Mario Brothers. Oh, I don't know if I did that in 1 1. Uh, I, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's a snippet. They're shy guys that shoot things, basically. Oh, my neck really hurts because I got this neck twitch thing I keep doing, and uh-oh, oh, oh phew. See, this is a nice little advanced game, more advanced than, than previous uh, platformers that we've played, and we haven't played many. Oh, the commentary's getting bad, the commentary's getting bad, the ninji are getting crazy, they're getting so crazy. Mm, I was gonna explain some other things. Uh, uh, oh, I was talking about my Asperger's problem. <laughs> and they, they started talking about an emo kid when they were laughing, this family. And then I heard him talk over, over my coworker said he heard him talking about Asperger's after I left the room. And, uh, I mean, the symptoms of Asperger's are using language very strangely. Uh,. There's a lot of other ones. The only one I don't fit is I prefer fiction to nonfiction, and people with Asperger's generally prefer nonfiction to fiction. And I mean, sure, I probably don't have it because it's way overdiagnosed, like ADHD is. But something's wrong with me, and I, I like it. I want to embrace it, but it's not something that's natural. I don't think it's natural at all, and I just want to know what it is. Is that so wrong? The cherries, by the way, you get five of those, and you get a star. That's how you get stars to appear. Okay, it starts getting trickier because... Okay, that's a victorious sound. That means the heart's nearby. It starts getting tricky whenever the hearts don't show up where the lamp does, because they show up in very specific spots in subspace. Or, I don't know if that's what it's called in this game. Alright, I'm sorry. This I screwed myself over. Mm, my neck hurts. Oh, it hurts so bad. Mm, that's a quote from my friend after I broke his leg. <laughs> Did I leave you in suspenseful silence? You thought I was going to tell that story? Huh? No heart? Never mind, there's not a Victoria sound, it's all the same sound. What a primitive, awful game this is. 
I gotta go to work in a few hours and I'm not gonna have this beat by then. Beat, beat, we're gonna beat, we're gonna beat, we're gonna beat. <laughs> go in the door, thank you. Mm. I was invited to Memphis Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh no, not again. Ooh, I finally get to hang out with my buddy old David again for the first time in a while. And I'm meeting his girlfriend who likes the Pokemon manga. I was reading some of the Pokemon manga last night and it's crazy good. I don't normally like manga because, oh, what am I doing? I was gonna, I was gonna tease you and be like, oh no, there's no way to get up here, not even with our super jump. But that's why you pick up these terrifying masks. And for some reason, even though they're masks, which are made of paper or like clay usually, and they're flat things, you can stand on them for extreme height. Mm. These are sparks. You remember them? Straight from Donkey Kong Jr. I told you they showed up again in my Donkey Kong Jr. Let's Play. I told you. I didn't mean to do that. I'm so used to running with B. See, watch. He goes away, and he's gone. Uh-oh. Oh. So we also watched Star Wars The Clone Wars after finishing the prequels, right? And that movie is so unnecessary. I don't care if it's the backdoor pilot to a movie. It's just, it's not, it, it's, oh, to, did I say to a movie? I meant to a, this, a cartoon, the, the, the Clone Wars. Even though it's, the cartoon is called Star Wars Clone Wars, according to Wikipedia, and Netflix calls them both Star Wars, the Clone Wars. Well, how retarded is that? And I didn't like Star Wars until I saw the prequels. And then, oh, uh, Jar Jar Binks is such an unnecessary character, and that's why he's great, and nobody realizes that. Thank God for Jesus. <laughs> I meant for stars. Thank the stars. I thank my lucky stars. I'm with them still today. And there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the- Oh! Oh! Excuse me? <laughs> I forgot the knockback is really bad. Mmm. Oh, we can't sing about the USA even though this was ported to become Super Mario USA after Japan was like, Ooh, I like what you did. We can't have American only- Okay, that was my fault. Oops! <laughs> I'm not going for those cherries anymore. Uh, oh, I can't- I'm good at this game. <laughs> To an extent, I'm not really good at Super Mario, oops, uh, okay, well I've never beaten Doki Doki Panic. Did I talk about this yet? How you have to beat every level with all four characters? Well, this is gonna be a long one recording-wise, but I'm only showing every level once, uh, one and one-tenth. I'm showing you every level, one-tenth of every level, d d d again, <laughs> how is he going over the grass? Oh, by the way, did you notice with the uh, blackface thing that killed enemies? Uh, it, th the grass, the black grass, was its hair. We pulled it by the hair. That terrifying black fat, black fast, black fost, black farst. I can't, no, oh, I can't take another hit. Or it's game over. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I'm never this bad. I gotta. This is Mauser. I meant to say that before. How did he? Okay, he only takes three hits. So, yeah, he's uh, some of Mamu's minions. Mamu is that the beast with the green hand we saw. Oh, and for some reason, the manual decides to tell you that his weakness is vegetables. And there's vegetables all over this world, like the turnips. And Oh, I didn't explain the lottery, but you get extra lives, and that's world one. Ooh, has it been 15 minutes? Yes. Oh, this is all one grand old part. Ooh, if you haven't clicked off by now, I'll see you next time if you appreciate my anti-satirical humor. I have to piss. Uh, goodbye. Next time we'll be doing Lena in world two. Do, 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 do.